Hi everyone. Hi. So we're going to be chatting about chapter six of Scattered Servants. So this chapter is entitled Everyone Every Day. Uh, so the focus of this chapter is about God sending us as individuals out. Um, and it presents us with this challenge that actually it isn't a select few um, that are called. Actually, we are all co uh, commissioned by Jesus to go and make disciples of all nations. And that argues that for this to happen, our primary loyalty is not to establish church programs to fill, to fill voters. Actually, our primary loyalty is following that call God has placed on our lives. Um, that actually is more important to follow that call than it is to serve coffee if serving coffee isn't your call. Um, or to be in the worship band or to get up and preach. All of these things are secondary to following that call God has put on our lives. Yeah, I don't, I don't think for one minute Chris is saying that uh, Sundays um, aren't important and um, we should be, you know, not involved in this. I think um, there is something really valuable in you know still still attending on Sundays and um, you know being fed and learning more about our Heavenly Father um, learning from one another just 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 having friends and family to, to lean on in in times receive prayer pray for other people and things like that you know these are Really key. Really, the really, really key. good. Yeah, ideas, yeah. yeah. Um, and we definitely need wow. them. You know. Um, I mean, the first first few years we were in Dundee, we felt really cool to be um, releasing the Kingdom of God in Kirkton, um, and we were very heavily involved in um, a lot of great stuff up there. And actually, you know, there were days where it was so hard up there. You know, it was it was emotionally, mentally, physically exhausting, and led me to the brink of tears so many times um i even had my phone stolen once uh, by someone um that um but you know what the the life and the energy we got out doing it as well was just like immense and um we we saw people come to know jesus um accept god into their lives and um we we were involved in a prayer room being set up um uh, there which was just so exciting um and you know th these are the things that actually you know you know it's worth the pain and it's worth the the um the tiringness and things as well um you know our attention is much more focused now into um be being um on the kind of like missional lead with city east hub um doing that alongside um the amazing david jules um and just just uh you know we've got a hunger to just see people in our hub um, and I'm also church as well, but you know, to, to, to follow their calling, to um, go where God leads them to go and just be encouraging them and where appropriate equipping them in that as well. Um, we spent an evening a few months back, was it, um, where we, um, we, we got like a massive map of Dundee and we were like um, looking at our area and uh, looking at what's going on already that we could be excited about and what people in this community get excited about um, and what our sort of dreams and passions were for that and where we think God may be leading us yeah, and cheer each other on when yeah you know, like oh I think God's saying to do this mm -hmm. like, go yeah. for it and I think particularly yeah. in this time as well where we're we're not connected by um, going to church on a Sunday and we're not connected by going to hubs or even um, you know rarely bumping into each other in like Tesco or things like that and stuff it's uh, it's just been really really key for um, keeping one another and encouraging yeah. them in this time. So, I think that the, the church as a whole, like, so you've got the community hubs, but also I think there's clearly been a real conscious effort from the colleagues and the church to try to generate this culture mm -hmm. as well with the small groups. And yeah, yeah, for sure. I think yeah. we've benefited greatly from that, and I know countless other people in the church have as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, I think, yeah, just the way that the church is. Um, made it really easy for us to yeah. <laughs> follow follow where God is leading us. Right, yeah. Yeah. Right. I think this wants to end so uh, this short video. There's at the end of the chapter there is this amazing but slightly terrifying encouragement from John Free. Um, the wind blows wherever it pleases. 
You hear its sounds, but you cannot tell where it comes from, or where it's going. So it is with everyone born to the Spirit. Mm. Actually, kind of, if, if we are a new creation in Christ, if we are born to the Spirit, actually, we have given our yes to God to be like, go send me wherever you want, I will gladly and happily go. Which is exciting, because actually the possibilities are endless. Bye. Bye. Can't wait to see you all again soon.